Kelly, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Thank you. A bit sweaty because it's very warm. Yes. So, <laughs> so, but, uh, but um, uh, last time I think I saw you was uh, when you were by yourself at the uh, Vodafone Mesh Fest, which is also the same company, actually. Oh, yes. So, uh, doing your solo work, actually. Uh, and uh, also saw you guys play Superbox Superrock also previously. I think about. Ten years ago, maybe. Yeah, who, who else was playing? Can you remember? No, actually, it was a solo, solo show. Actually, at the oh. Coliseo, I remember now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So, so, I remember you guys. Someone told me that you guys were out and about in Lisbon. Uh, I think so. I, I, I mean, if it was ten years ago, uh, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I so. probably can't remember the finer details. Um, but we did. I used to have a. You know, we used to come here. I think we used to come quite a lot. So, yeah, I think I remember some having fun, some fun times here. Uh huh. Cool. Cool, cool, that's awesome. Uh, it's also always interesting to know because uh, you know, because you know, uh, what do you rem if you remember anything? Also, if you don't remember stuff, maybe sometimes that's a good sign, right? Yeah, it probably means that you were having too much of a good time at the time <laughs> yeah. to, to, to to document uh -huh. what, you, what you're up to. But uh -huh. you know, that's not so bad. Uh, that's cool. And um, um, for instance, now with the new album mm. uh, with with hymns, uh, you guys usually have uh, uh, usually play uh, or I mean release. Um, I'm sorry, I'm very sweaty. I <laughs> just, I just ran, ran, uh, ran over here. Uh, but, um, but you guys usually release a bunch of songs uh, that have a, with an EP or release new material yeah. after after you release a, a major a major uh, yeah. record. Are you, do, you guys doing that now? I mean, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but yeah, we have done some recording. <laughs> um, I think the plan is to get some new music out before the end of the year. But apart from that, I can't really say anything else. Okay, okay. okay. Well, it's been that's uh, we certainly understandable. But, but that's, uh, the, that's the first time I've, I've uh, that's the first time I've substantiated that so that you've got an exclusive. <laughs> oh, so. fantastic! Oh, that's thank you so much. No <laughs> thank you so much for uh, for um, media purposes and uh -huh. ex exclusive content. <laughs> you know, that's very true. Actually, you shouldn't say <laughs> between commas. I know, I know. It's very true. You get this all the time, but are people like telling you now that hymns is, you know, very spiritual and very, you know, uh, to me it sounds kind of like church-like in a way. There's some references here and there. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think it definitely came from a, um, it, it, it came from, I guess, a more spiritual place. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I feel that in our music there's always been elements of that kind of communal, cele you know, celebratory. Mm -hmm you know, rejoicing. I think it, that's something that's always been there. But um, I think with him, it was the first time that, you know, f the ideas about faith, I guess, were the central theme to, to the art, to, to the record, you know. I, I think it's something that I've, al it's, I've alluded to in the past, because mm. I did have a quite a religious upbringing. Oh. Um, um, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, it's the first time. It's the first time it's been up front and centre mm -hmm. in a in a body of work that mm -hmm. I've created. So it's been interesting to see how people have reacted, and mm -hmm. you know, and it's been interesting performing the music as uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. I've, uh, I've not knowing that I didn't yeah. know you had a religious upbringing, but uh, it seems to me, like as a listener, that it was you know this person or Kelly, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this person uh, um, knows what it's like to be not it's not my case, but it seems that this person knows what it's like to be you know uh, brought up in those uh, yeah. those because it seems related to that I mean it's, it's my opinion at least yeah I mean it's it, it's 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 um, it's difficult because although I had a you know though I had a religious upbringing it was something that I very much rejected um, mm -hmm. early on in my life you know it's something I didn't really see I, it's something I knew fundamentally that I didn't really agree with mm -hmm. um, so that was always like a cause of, um, I guess, conflict between me and my uh, and my family. Mm -hmm. um, but over the years, I've started to, you know, I started to realise that that you know, um, I've started to see the parallels, I guess, in in how you know, you know, in how my parents act and the support that faith gives them mm -hmm. with um, what I do for a living as a musician and you know, travelling around the world and playing for people, performing for people, um, and the sense of community that provides as well. I've started to see I started to see that there were some very clear parallels um, you know 
so it, you know, it, it it made me start to explore it really. You know, you know, it, it, you know, it, this thing that I had in, initially dismissed. Um, I started to see a certain certain value in it, mm -hmm. and it was something. You know, that was the attempt with the album hymns was to how do I define what is sacred in my life? You know, mm -hmm. w w what are the things that I hold to be pure and and honest and and to be celebrated? And that was, I guess, that's really what the record is for me. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I see. I see. Uh, do, do you find that uh, as long as, as uh, the more the more mature you get, and uh, as long as time goes by, that you find that because uh, I, I find this myself, like that we're all really basically just the same. It's just that the tools that you find to f to find your that you have to find your own solace, for instance, your mm -hmm. solace, um, just differ. But they're basically all reaching, looking out for the same things, really. Yeah, I mean, I think as human beings, we we essentially want the same. You know, we all essentially want um, have similar needs mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, and the, you know, and uh, the, you know, it, it might take different forms amongst different people, but I think a sense of community and fellowship and respect and connection is is essentially what you know uh, the, the the kind of universal um, aims. So, you know, I guess. That's kind of what I wanted to try and, yeah. You know, I guess on on some level, that's what I wanted to, to try and explore, really. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do you find, also find that uh, uh, maybe this has to do with maturity as well, and maybe with the uh, band members changing, but mm. that the new block party is also less nervous, it seems. Are you guys less ner nervous as a band, or because the music seems to not be going there? There. No. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that comes from, you know, hymns is probably the. Yeah, it's the fifth record that we've mm -hmm. made as a band, and it's the seventh record that I've made. You know, you know that I've been in in in, in involved in. So I don't feel I don't feel nervous about the process of mm -hmm. making music and presenting it. To me, it seems very to me it seems very uh, comfortable and ordinary. Now, mm -hmm. this, this is what I do. This is what I've been doing for the last fifteen years of my life. Um, you know, there was some trepidation, I guess, because we were a, we were a new band with a new lineup. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, the way that I navigated that was it was important to me that the music that we made now was something that came from a real place, um, because it doesn't matter what people think about what it is that, that you've made. So, so, you know, it's it's not going to change your relationship with it uh, as mm -hmm. the author or as the artist and. That's why it was important that that the music came from a real, real place. Really, yeah. I think that's probably why the record is the way it is. Mm -hmm. Sure, you, you go wherever you go. Okay, so um, oh, wow, that's uh, quick. <laughs> that's happened pretty quick because we're, we're pretty much short on time because uh, oh, no. you're rushing. But uh, but um, I heard you have, you have a sore throat as well. So uh, yeah, I, 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 have, I have a slight sore throat. Um, yeah, I have a slight sore throat, um, but it's okay. I like talking about myself. Okay. <laughs> Luckily for us. <laughs> <laughs> This is goes for a show called sure. Made of Things, sure. and it's based on the idea that uh, you dedicate your, yourself to art and your life to art yeah. uh, because you read or heard or saw something that uh, made you go, "Oh, I want to do that forever." Do you yeah. have that, uh, or and what was it? Yeah, I, I remember seeing. I'm, um, you know, it's kind of funny now when I talk about it, but I remember seeing. Um, there was a '90s. Uh, like there's a 90s kind of R&B duo, like a rap duo, I guess, called um, Criss Cross. Oh yeah, oh. That really? had the song Jump, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I remember, and I remember seeing them perform on um, Top of the Pops, which is a British music mm -hmm. show. Um, and thinking, you know, those kids look so cool. You know, they look just like me, and they're and they're doing music, and I, and I thought. And, you know, and I remember thinking, this is cool, this is uh -huh. something that I could potentially do. It wasn't until many years later that I really started to think about music and composing and writing and like learning like an instrument. But th I remember that was the first point I, rem I, I remember being wowed by pop music. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. Fantastic. Is that your favorite, all-time favorite pop of the pop performance? No, it, is, it, it, it isn't. It isn't my all-time favorite, <laughs> but, it's, uh, but uh -huh. it's something that I remember when I think of you know the path that I'm on now with my life as a musician uh -huh. that was the first time that it 
you know, I saw, you, sure. you know, that's, yeah. that was the first time I saw musicians and I felt this is something that I could potentially do. Uh-huh, uh, for sure. Uh, what is your favourite then, by the way? What's your favourite performance? P on, on top of the pop? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember seeing Biss um, oh, really? and doing Candy Pop on top really? of the pops. I love Biss. Yeah, no, I, no one really knows them anymore. Yeah, it was just it was just a real it was kind of a crazy moment because the thing about Top of the Pops was that before, you know, it, it was the music show that we had in the UK before there were lots of you know before there before there was music television really it was the show that every family watched because, you know that had a young person that was into music so getting on Top of the Pops was kind of a big deal if you were like an alternative act and I remember I remember seeing Bish and I, and I remember thinking that was cool. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Mine, pers my personal. Favorite. Peter Gabriel, um, uh, no self-control. It's eighty-two, but it's 82. Uh, it's on uh, YouTube. Oh, I highly recommend it. Okay, it's, it's outstanding. I mean, the one thing I didn't like so much about about uh, Top of the Pops over most music shows was that the bands didn't always perform live. The, yeah, that's true. The show was kind of I wasn't so into it. Mm -hmm. I, um, but yeah, I, but sometimes they did, and when they did, it was interesting. But especially regarding that, because they're, they're, it's, it's playback, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Thank what you. he does with that, it's fantastic. Cheers. No worries. And enjoy the show. Thank you very See much. See you next time, man. Thank no, you. And, no that, and, that, and that this one was one of the first CDs that I've ever owned. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, Sweet Shop Avengers, I believe. Yeah. Yes, yes, Sweet yes. Shop. Yes. 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 <laughs> Cheers, man.